Three, two, one. That is, well, you know. Did I stop it? Did I start? I don't know. I don't know if I started or stopped it. Anyway. Got five foot of the copper tubing. And this bad boy here. Hey, 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 don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight don't fight it. Don't stop fighting. Try stop fighting. Try stop it. Stop trying to find my face. <laughs> It's like, get out of my way. Okay, so that cost me 36 bucks because I donated to Roundup because it's, yeah, it's easier that way. Plus, you get to donate. Every little bit helps, right? That doesn't mean that I'm going to actually work on this today, but I got the parts. And the only reason I say that is because the... Yes. Uh, the only reason I say that is because the FedEx guy decided to come in and my dad's chair came in. He needs, he needs one of those chairs that lifts up to help him stand and whatnot. Oh, Charlene, I'm still just about. Well, we are waiting for our turn at the gas station right now. We'll get this, go home, put that chair together. That'll be pretty much it for the day. And I'm going to do some, uh, I'd like to get the photos done for the, um, the zoo trip that we went on the other June 8th, I think, June 9th. And it's pretty late right now. It's almost June 25th. Oh, sorry, June 27th. So, yeah. We really need to get them finished. I got all the photos from my friends and whatnot, so... Should be fun. It's just I'm doing color correction and stuff like that to go with it. and Maybe things will be oversaturated, but I don't know. I, I think they're turning out pretty good. But then again, that's just me. I don't even think I have a, a monitor to really do color correction with, so I'm hoping it'll be good. At least on the monitors themselves, it looks pretty good for that way. Okay. Well, we're back. It's another day. And today we're going to be working on something interesting. Not really, but... Here we go. Do you see something wrong with this picture? Anything. I mean, we got a little bit of water coming here. This here. How about that possibly being wrong? Funny story, <laughs> never done them before. I put it in and I apparently got two hots instead of one hot, one cold. Didn't realize that there would be that big of a difference. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it shuts off that way. Well, it's supposed to shut off that way. Now this is how it shuts off. Ready? Push. <laughs> and you can literally move it all the way around. This one, you can't do that. It's it's solid. Whoever actually uh, has been pushing too hard probably ruined something in there. I don't know what it could be. I know it's a lot of plastics and it has uh, some rubber, I guess, bushing or something like that in there. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna work on that and uh, hopefully get it done pretty quickly. Good thing is, is everything is just down here first things first it's this one here whatever that is i couldn't tell you i guess i should turn this off so go ahead and do that ow 
I spin, spinched, I pinched my finger, I mean, finger in between this heater and the glass. So anyway, it goes in here and uh, you just untighten it and tighten it. But I already did that. So now we just go boop. Because I'll show you for pro Next is going to be this little, another soap. I can't believe I didn't see that. Another soap. No. We'll go ahead and take this Phillips here off. Now we just have this little nut here. It's going to hold it on. Got ourselves a set of pliers. Why is that so weird? There we go. Yeah. Set of old rusty pliers. Baby's on there, huh? How about now? Come on. Come on. There we go. Nope. There we go. Yes. Nope. There we go. All right. There it is. Nope. Okay. Ah, there it is. Nope. Still not. Okay. All right. Eh, come on. All right. That is. You would think that the threads were bad, but. It's actually not too bad. Holy man, that's just really on there. Okay, so this should just pop right out. You know what? Maybe it's not bad. <laughs> I think it's because I turned it too far. I hope the housing here isn't bad. I hope that's not bad. There it is. <laughs> it's really hard. I don't see any reason why it was leaking. It closes all the way. How comes if I press down on it, it doesn't leak? I hope this is, I really do hope this is not bad. Cause I don't have to replace the whole thing probably, more or less. Here's the put on, putting on the proper side actually so this way when i shut it off it'll be off with the other one like it should be here's what i had to buy why am i having such a hard time figuring out where to put it I'm going to assume that maybe just maybe that is where that needs to be all I'm doing is just going to take this, put it on here, and that should be completely closed. That should be open. So we're going to test that. If it is correct, then we'll put the rest together. Three, two, one. That is, well, you know, <laughs> I guess we won't know until we, uh, Put that actually back on. Uh, well, you know, live and learn, live and learn. And then you get love. See, there's only two, so it's got to go that way, right? It's either that way or it's this way. Which I don't think it's this way, right? Because... Eh. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, I kind of got that stuck. Yeah, yeah, that's my work tool. It's there. Show me I think that is good. Before I try to do anything else with the top, let's see where we're at. So that, that should be fully closed. Cross your fingers. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah. 
Ah. Ah. Ah. So there you go. That is it. Works pretty good. Shuts off pretty good. Now I just gotta figure out how to get that uh, pink thing out of the middle there so I can put screw in and call it a day. Uh, that's it for today. We still have the faucet outside of the house to do, so that'll be fun. I'm just waiting for my friend to get a hold of me, see what works for him to come in. That was fun. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello. It's a little dark in here, but hello. <clears throat> Well, I actually meant to do some recording when it came to doing the uh, faucet outside. Uh, just never came down to it. I just figured it was easier to get it done and over with. So this way he could go, my friend could go and pick up his daughter if he needed to and all that fun stuff. Because I know he's always busy. But he helps me with everything and I try to help him with everything too. So one of those friendships, you know. You do anything for them. So yeah, I meant to actually record the whole thing, but I'm sorry. I have indigestion apparently. Yeah, I uh, did, however, record to show you guys, you know, the finished product. And I, and I go over, uh, you know, what we did and whatnot. And I show you the old faucet and whatnot. So enjoy. Hello. Well, I did a thing. I didn't plan on doing it this way, but I did a thing. Where are you? That right there is a new faucet and it has the, was it anti-freeze or whatever it's called, where it allows it to drain out so this way that the water when it gets cold isn't in the pipes to freeze and burst. So yeah, let me take you downstairs and uh, I'll show you a bit of what we did. There's something in my foot. There's something in my foot. All right, now that we're down here, I'll show you exactly what we ended up doing. And I'll show you the other parts when I go back out uh, well, the old parts. We still have them for now. Bright light. Turn that around. Okay. Here we are. My dad put this on here for the ground. I'm not sure why. I'm not, uh, you know, a giant electrician or anything. So what we did is we went with the shark bite. And this is my little tie rope to keep it up against here and away from all this other stuff here. So, like the those and these and whatnot. And then we actually came down here. What do you mean endpoint reached? <laughs> but anyway, we actually came down here. And we installed one of these snake bites right here for a on and off valve as you can see works great so yeah that's it for here now this will go from out there and what's nice is beforehand it didn't have the snake bite here so now we can just take it off from here go straight out the only thing we have to take off is this here replace the fa replace to replace it with a new faucet no problem for next time but the last time we put it on you know way before the the uh, shark bite stuff where you had to just use solder and whatnot so yeah go over here that one was replaced this one comes over these are pipes are for old radiators there's the old uh, oil tank for radiator as you can see, that pipe goes behind our filter to the outside. And then over here, we come over here. This had a valve that was leaking right here. 
as you can see, there's a bunch of the water. It's like the hard water, I guess. So we put a valve there. Thing is though, we put a red tube on. Cause I wanted to try out and see how well it worked. Uh, going from copper to the regular one. As a matter of fact, I have, doo -doo -doo -doo. I have a whole, <laughs> I don't know, seven foot left. <laughs> so here's where that is. Oh, nope, up higher. There we are. So yeah, it goes into that one, right into the old pipe. We did it after after the tea because we didn't. I didn't really want to mess with that. Figured it would be easier. And there's the wall. There's some insulation that I've had for a while, but I kind of think I want to go with some, like blown in or, not blown in, but uh, the foam, the spray foam. I have somebody come in and spray it, and then all I have to do is just finish this wall over here with some studs. And there you go. At least that's the plan because this is where we used to have the pellets I plan on putting the pellets outside uh, it's just easier because I have to here I'll show you I have to do this <laughs> on this side and it sucks so I'm right up against the rafters and I'm six foot two or well one maybe two then we get over here and it's like oh I can stand up straight so that's the plan because uh, I'd like to get that side done because here's the thing all this stone wall bleeds like crazy when it's cold and it just takes away from all the heat that we create from the machine over here and it does decent but you know could you imagine if we actually had the heat stay in. It actually go upstairs where it needs to be. So yeah, that's where we're at. I meant to actually just show show us doing the work, but like I said, I just didn't want to take the chance of him not getting to his daughter and whatnot whenever they needed to, or if they needed to. And uh, he helps me out all the time. I try to help him out all the time. And I also know that our way of doing things is to make plans to do something we go into that day and we're like all right let's do it and then we have to go buy a bunch of stuff because it's like oh shit that was the wrong part or whatever you can think of like last time we went to work on his car with on the rear end and apparently something's wrong with that pin to get it out so we could remove the axles to replace the uh the seals <laughs> yeah that was nuts so yeah, I just know our, 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 our plan is to do it all in one day, but then we always end up coming back the next day to finish it and getting the right parts. But this time, one day, as a matter of fact, it only took like half hour of that. So it's pretty good, pretty fun. Can't wait to do a little more with that. Oops. Here is all the other parts from the job we just did. Spin that around. So, as you can see, this here doesn't have the shark. It was soldered and it obviously came in with the threads, but it didn't go to enough through the wall for me to see this. Otherwise, I could have possibly taken it off by hand, unfortunately. So, we ended up just cutting it back here just a little bit. So, this way, like I said before, down, down there down there so this way I can just easily remove it pull it out and replace it with a whole new uh, piece so this is the old one I tried replacing the rubber where is it oh, there we go I tried replacing the rubber but it was just shot as a matter of fact I had this completely replaced put on here like so and then <laughs> I was trying to get this to turn and for some reason the turn thing here can't even think of it um valve whatever anyway when it's on there with that there in there it just didn't want to like turn very well at all 
So I ended up turning it and I thought I was shutting it off. And when I did, it just exploded right at me and water was going everywhere. So that's when I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy a new one and be done with it. At the moment, very, very happy. Very, very happy with how it came out. And it drains itself, which is great. And you know, it's done. I gotta put that back in. Also, if you take a look out this way, grass needs cut again, so that'll be tomorrow's agenda. Maybe I'll put you guys on there and just walk with me. I have something that'll that I can put you on and have you on my shoulder, basically. It's not as bad as last time, so it should go pretty quick. I think that's as far as we're gonna get today, and that's all I wanted to really show you and update you about. Maybe someday, whenever there's more to, to do, I'll, I'll do more often of these, more of these like, you know, home project type things. I know one thing, we've got a project to do, that porch there. We want to enclose it in-ish, but with more, with more like a bug screen. And it's, I want to do some more than just that, but it's mainly just to keep the, the bees out because my dad, he's allergic. And um, like really allergic. <laughs> So it'd be nice to have that taken care of uh, so they can just go out there and enjoy the porch without all the bugs and bees buzzing around. See you guys.